Brothers and sisters, peace and all good. Today's first reading comes to us from the book of Numbers, and it um, uh, focuses on uh, a time when the people of Israel, after they uh, have crossed uh, the Red Sea, they are on their way to the Promised Land. Um, but um, along the way, they are um, tired and weary and exhausted. Um, they don't have enough to eat, um, enough water to drink. And they begin to complain against Moses and against God. They ask themselves, why did God uh, take out of, uh, took us out of Egypt so that we can die in the desert? Well, they have a crisis of faith. And to make things worse, um, many of them die because of the, uh, the seraph uh, serpents. Um, they are bit by it and, uh, and many die. So what happens next is uh, people are pleading to God and God tells Moses to mount uh, a serpent, a uh, seraph serpent on, on the pole and everyone who looks at it, who does what God tells them to, will be, will be healed. And that's what happens. So that's the ancient story. And uh, the challenge is uh, for us now to figure it out. What does it have to do with, uh, with our lives, individual lives and collective lives? So I was thinking about what does it mean um, for us as a people who are, uh, many of us uh, may experience a certain crisis of faith and ask, uh, where is God? in the midst of this uh, pandemic um, and uh, sometimes even perhaps even can complain. Um, and uh, could it be that uh, God is telling us uh, to, um, to look at the cross, um, to look at the, at the self-giving um, love of God, love that has no boundaries, love that extends to friend and foe. I was uh, recently reading about the situation, uh, the plight of the people of Iran, uh, also another nation devastated by, uh, by a COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, almost uh, 3,000 people died so far. And um, uh, right now, um, uh, the people of uh, Iran are subjected to the U.S. sanctions, and it's a it's it's a very callous um, move on the part of the Trump administration to use it as a tool uh, to to subject uh, to uh, to inflict a, a tremendous uh, damage and hurt on the people of Iran, um, who are being barred from receiving. Uh, help from international agencies uh, to help them alleviate uh, this uh, this scourge and do what is what is necessary to have basic protection for doctors and nurses. This is what we want, and uh, it's estimated that unless those sanctions are lifted, as many as uh, three million Iranians uh, might die. So that's why people of faith are called to, are mobilizing to, to put pressure on Trump administration uh, to act with, uh, with justice, uh, to put away its calculations and callousness um, and uh, act that we as, uh, as Christians, as the people who have eye, our eyes fixed on the cross, are called to, 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 be, to live in solidarity uh, with, uh, with all people. Um, and uh, to, the, to the extent that we can show love and solidarity and compassion to, uh, towards others, others perhaps um, it would be easier for us to, to be empowered uh, by God's mercy and, um, and experience the healing that we desire as individuals and as a nation. Just a thought. Peace and all good.